This is a quick demo on how to maintain your flex shaft. You'll want to wear safety glasses, gloves, and an apron to do this job because it's pretty dirty. So let me show you the tools you'll use. You'll want to dedicate a rag to this job. So I have one that we use every time we clean the flex shaft. We also have a can of air, a flat head screwdriver, a bottle of lubricant, and an Allen wrench which comes with your flex shaft and replacement brush, motor brushes. So let's move over to our flex shaft. At this point while it's hanging, go ahead and use a can of air to spray any dust and stuff out of the motor. And remember, you'll want to do this every 50, 40 to 50 hours of use. So we'll do ours about every six months here in the studio at Halstead. So grab your flex shaft and lay it out along a table. And you'll want to make sure it's unplugged. That's very important. Make sure your flex shaft is unplugged before you work on it. Let me show you some parts to the flex shaft. So you have your handle, you have your motor, you have your brush caps. This is your sheath, which covers your shaft. And down here is your handpiece. So let's go ahead and pop off the handpiece now. So you grip it from the bottom and you grip it from the handpiece and you give it a hard tug and it's off. So go ahead and put that aside. You won't use it again until the end. So coming back up here to the motor, go ahead and take your flathead screwdriver and you're going to take the brush cap off, off to expose the motor brush to see if they're worn or not. So it's on a spring and you just gently pull it out and you can see that this one is not worn out. Here's a new one and here's the old one and it's pretty new. These are made out of carbon so they you can use them all the way until they're about down to here before you need to replace them and depending on how often you use it and how much you use it will depend on how often you need to replace it. When you buy a flex shaft it will come with a set though. So go ahead and tuck that back in. It's spring loaded, so you need to push it down in there. Place the cap over it. And then go ahead and screw that back together. Now you'll want to do the same thing on the reverse side of the motor. So if you flip it over, there's your other brush cap. So let's move on down here. To the sheath and right here is where you're going to use your allen wrench that comes with your flex shaft you don't need to unscrew this all the way just enough to release this part and you're going to remove the sheath and expose the shaft so go ahead and pull this all the way off and place that to the side now you'll use your rag and use a clean rag or a dedicated rag for this. And you're going to wipe all the lubricant off. Because you're going to want to replace that with fresh oil. So here we go. I've wiped it off. And now you've exposed the shaft. So you're going to take your lubricant. And you want to draw a very thin stripe all the way down. You don't want to put a lot on there. You'll end up wiping it off. So you just want it to look like this, all the way down. Now, when you get to the bottom, you're going to stop about five inches from the tip. So you want to stop about right here. So your whole entire shaft will now have that lubricant on it. And next step you want to do is you want to go ahead and put your sheath back on. Use the Allen wrench to tighten that up again. Wipe it off if you get any on the outside. And now you're going to hang your flex shaft back up into its holder, onto its hook. And without putting the handpiece on, you're going to drop this into a trash can. 
plug it back in. And you're going to run it hanging over a trash can on full power for 10 minutes. This is really important. If you see any oil coming out from the bottom, from the tip of it, then you'll want to go in and wipe some off. It means you've put too much in there. But if you don't see any oil, it's perfect and you can put your hand piece back on. So once you've run it for 10 minutes at full power, go ahead and lay it back down on the table and just pop in your hand piece, which just snaps right back into place. And that's it. That's how you maintain your flex shaft.